All right, so today I want to talk about something very important. Your right lung, which is here, left lung, coronary, filiform, which is right here, and the most important one, your gallbladder. This is your liver. And I want to discuss how soda destroys your liver. Let's discuss it. Okay, I know this is not the best image in the world, but hopefully you guys get the idea. Hopefully. All right, <laughs> let's get started. So, growing up, I used to always hear, do not drink sodas. But nobody ever seems to want to explain to me why I should not be drinking sodas. So, let me break it down, try, try to make you guys understand the amount of damage it actually does to your liver. Your liver is supposed to be only 5% fat. I didn't write it down here. But... Your liver only supposed to be at 5% fat. When you consume a lot of soda, like even one can a day, which is 450, you actually take it on between 60 and 80% of fat. That stays in your liver. Now, how does that happen? High fructose corn syrup is the most damaging thing you could do to your liver. The problem is, it's break down into two groups. When you drink a bottle of soda, it's break down into glucose, and fructose. The glucose the rest of your body can produce and wash out and put to other organs. The fructose stays inside your liver. That's the damage. Now, there was a couple of studies done to prove that soda was the identical factor in fatty liver. Nothing else, sodas, creates fatty liver and that's because of the high glucose. Now, the worst soda to actually drink is Coca-Cola. That is 40% fructose, 40%. And diet sodas are still the same. Whether it's regular soda or diet soda, it's still up there in the 40%. Fruit juice is only 20%. Now, I do drink sodas every once in a while, and I'll show you guys when I go in the other room exactly which one I do drink. But I only drink one can of soda per week. That's because it's very damaging to your liver and to the physique that you're actually trying to build. Now, alcohol is also, you know, damaging to your liver, but that I'll discuss that in a different episode to break this thing down more. All right, so the number one problem with drinking Coca-Cola, because it actually is the worst one, is because it's 450 calories, and that's glucose that actually stays inside your liver. So it's not healthy for you, so you have no benefits throughout the rest of your body. So your liver have to break it down. That's why it's so detrimental to building your physique and making sure that you have the right body that you need and you're not in the gym, working out, doing all these workouts and then go home feeling like crap because I've, yeah, you guys will be amazed how many times I leave the gym and I actually see people actually going by the bar and getting some, um, getting a soda. It doesn't make sense to me. So, you can drink sodas. And I will show you another room and break it down and show you what soda I drink. And I only drink it once a week. So let's go in the other room. All right, so I know a lot of people are gonna say, I can't, I can't believe you're recommending people to drink sodas. I'm not recommending, I'm just speaking my truth. And every Thursday, every single Thursday, I drink a soda. I'm gonna break it down and show you guys why. And the truth is, yes, it's not healthy if you do it every single day or if you're doing it, you know, for a pretty long amount of time for years and years and years. Because it doesn't matter how much supplements you take, you could take all these supplements in the world to have the perfect body. But if you're destroying it by drinking a lot of sodas, you're defeating the purpose. So let me, I'm gonna break it down. Before I show you guys the soda that I actually drink, I'm gonna, just show you guys what you guys need to look out for. When you look at this can, the first thing you see is that the, um, the sugar intake is only 25. See it? It's right there. But what they really get you is you look up top and it says three servings. So this is for three people. 
So this is no longer 25 as they claim. This is what? 75. So it says all natural, but everybody knows by now this is not natural if it has that much sugar in this one can. Now, a lot of ingredients, um, a lot of stuff that you look at, basically it's just by looking at the label. You could take up to 35 um, gram of sugar, you know, and be healthy and not, nothing's wrong. But sodas goes up to 70 and 80 just for a small can. Now, this is the only soda that I actually do drink. This is my poison of choice. And you can see the sugar intake is only 28. Now, this is high. And I don't recommend anybody to drink it, but I'm just speaking my truth. If you are going to drink a soda, stick with Sprite. There's damaging for everything else. Um, and the V8. The V8 is also very healthy. But yeah, it's very, 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 very simple. You just guys have to know what you put in your body. And just realize it doesn't matter how much supplements we take. If we're constantly damaging our body every single day, we're never going to reach the goal that we want to reach. And spending money on these, but you're also killing your body. That's why a lot of times people don't see their six pack stick out the way they want to. Like even when you go to a nightclub um, and you have a drink with some um, sodas in it, most likely it's going to be um, Coca Cola. You know, you mix those two together, you realize that your testosterone level drops. That's the reason for it because your liver cannot process it anymore, so you can't get an erection. So taking all the supplements you want in the world, if you're just damaging your liver by drinking sodas, none of this is going to work. And you're really just wasting your time and your money. So be careful of what you put in your body. I don't recommend anybody to drink sodas, but if you do going to do it, limit it to one can a week or stop altogether. See y'all on the next one.